Hello, Sagittarius. I was like, who am I doing again? Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. Um, today, I'm going to be doing your love reading. We're going to be seeing who's coming towards you in love. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments, and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. I'm also open for personal reading, so all that information is in the description box below. Um, what else was I going to say? How I do my readings is I channel through the oracle. I then clarify with the tarot. And then um, at the end, we get additional information, okay? So, um, the overall energy for your love reading is trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have power. You instinctively know what is right for you, and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. And underneath that, we have freedom. So, I feel, oh, look at this picture with the snake right here. So I feel like what this is saying to me is that there could be some trust issues in your situation, okay? I feel like somebody, it's like you want to have the power to leave, but I feel like it's very hard that like this person just tempts you. Look at that snake. It's like you're wrapped around each other, but I feel like this could be a toxic situation, okay? Um, I feel like as well, some of you are in denial about your partner being snaky, and it's kind of like... You know, once you accept the situation for what it is, you will have the power to be able to free yourself, okay? But, yeah, I feel like there's heavy denial here. Someone is just in denial. You know, they're, they're, they're aware that the, whoever they're with is a player. You know, people have told you this, that, and the other. Like, this, that, and the other. Sorry, they didn't want me to say that. You've seen the signs, okay? You've seen the red flags. But I just feel like there's so much passion between you. You can't let go. Okay, I feel like some of you as well, you believe that this person is your soulmate or your twin flame. That's a negative. It's a karmic cycle, okay? That's for some of you. But you see how this man is looking up at this woman and there's that snake around her? It's like she is seducing him, okay? And he can't say no. But then on this side, you know, you could be, whoever this is, if you know about this situation, it could be one female that's got light hair and another female who's got dark hair, or there's difference in skin tones. But it's like there's two different women here. It kind of looks like the same man, but two different women. Or it could go vice versa, take it how it resonates, okay? Also, if that's not your situation, on a positive note, I feel like the universe might be trying to tell you that you need to have power to trust in this person. Okay, leave your past behind you. Accept them for who they are. And, um, because, you know, you could be a power couple and that will set you free, okay? So I feel like trust issues is very heavy here, okay? I just heard non-committal. Ugh, so we'll see. Hopefully this turns around, guys. So, um, what's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius is? In love. Thank you, Sierra. We've got to use your discernment, okay? Somebody has a very ju good judge of character here. Flowers is also very significant to you. I just heard, um, it's like there's somebody who's very sexy, very alluring, but they're, um, what's the word? Like, temptress. That's what I heard. And there's someone that's like, pretty and just you know i just heard flower girl someone who's very like wifey material and then there's someone who's very like tempting okay and i feel like this person whoever this possible cheater is they don't have a very good judge of character i just heard clumsy criminal like there's, there's somebody if you don't know about this you may find out okay because i'm getting very like lots of different stories but someone here makes stupid mistakes because they're just stupid they're just stupid and they're a slave to their snake, their pee pee, okay? For others of you, that's what I'm feeling though. I'm trying to turn this story around, but I just, you know, because it's saying use your discernment and be wise. I feel like some of you as well, like you came into knowledge about something and you're really struggling to accept this situation for what it is, but you need to accept the situation for what it is because that's the only way, yeah, that's the only way that you're going to free yourself. I mean, oh, sorry guys. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting. Um, if that's not the case, then yeah, I feel like some of you are just trying to have that power to be able to trust whoever you're with. You know, maybe you've gone through trust issues in the past and, you know, you don't like relationships and someone's trying to, like, show you, like, listen, I'm not like... Sorry, guys. 
I'm not like these other people. And you're just having that power and that strength to just be like, do you know what? This is someone who I can trust. They're not going to hurt me, okay? This person also, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they think that you're really pretty as well. They feel like you're really pretty and you're really wise. Some of you might be dealing with a Piscean. Okay, what's coming towards Sagittarius is in love. What's coming off? Oh. Yep, there's your card, Sagittarius. Free spirit. So this is you. So yeah, like the Freya is the goddess of love, but I really feel like somebody in this connection, I feel like someone wants to be free and somebody doesn't. Or somebody knows that they need to free themselves. Because you know, the Sagittarius, that that's that represents um the temperance in the tarot it's the angels okay so angels are free spirits they're not supposed to kind of be tied down so so i also heard as well someone might be afraid afraid of being in a commitment because they think they're going to be trapped but they're not this person is like saying like trust me you know trust and accept that i'm not going to keep you trapped like you have the power to do whatever you want i'm not going to keep you bound okay you have your freedom i understand that you are a sad you're an angel you flutter you fly you fly like that bird. You fly away like you've got wisdom that's going to carry you to wherever you need to go. Okay? So, yeah. So, take the story how it resonates. But um, I also feel like somebody could have been very in and out of your life. You see, she's got the owl there and she's got the owl there. Owls are very significant to you as well. Could be your an animal totem. You might, not look that. you might want to look that up. It also symbolizes good luck and wisdom as well. So, you might want to... Um, get something that has owls on it or like a pendant or a statue or something like that i just heard altar if any of you have altars some of you might have an owl on your altar or you might want to get one um but yeah i just heard you can't make a hoe to a housewife and i just heard freedom so there's so many different energies i'm picking up here but i feel like somebody thought that they were getting away with something but it was like you was watching them the whole time you see how this owl is here it's like she's sending this owl to fly away Go and follow this person. And this owl's come to this person who's acting like a free spirit, going in and out, doing whatever they can. So someone could have got caught here. This is this is like a really popular energy at the moment. So I don't know what happened in the past couple of weeks, okay? Yeah, look, now someone's alone. So, so searching their identity. Like, what have I done? Who am I? Also, this person looks like she's at peace. I really do feel like someone wants to free themselves from a situation. But we'll see, we'll see. What's coming towards... Sorry, that was too many cards. What's coming towards my beautiful Sagittarius is in love? Yeah, we got Revelation. Um, Discernment and Revelation just came up in the Scorpio reading, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but yeah, like there was an epiphany, there was a revelation, something was revealed, the universe revealed something to somebody. They were like, you can't trust this person. I also feel like someone might have followed somebody because they'd followed their intuition, literally following your intuition, following your discernment. So, and something was revealed, okay? So, yeah. Partnership, yeah. Somebody could have stepped out on a partnership. Also, I feel like someone is flying towards somebody because they've had an epiphany that they're in love with you. Because remember, the goddess is... Freya is the goddess of love. Um, and they want to come and tell you. And you might not trust this person. You might just be like, eh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure about partnerships because I really do feel like some of you, Sag is, because this is like your card or this could be the person that you're dealing with. They're afraid of commitment that they don't want to be tied down. So take it how it resonates. It's either someone cheated here or they were just up to no good. And, you know, you're trying to have the power to walk away, but you feel attached to this person or someone wants to be with you. They want to marry you. They want to be serious, but you are very like, Ooh, I don't want to be tied down. Ooh, like, just when you think about partnerships, you just literally feel like, oh, my God, I'm going to be your wife. I'm going to be at home. I'm going to be able to do what I want. Oh, my God. Ew. You know, but this person is trying to show you, like, trust me, like, that's not going to be your life. Like, I'm going to love you how I want you to be loved. Like, I am the yin to your yang. Okay, let's look underneath. Yeah, because they love you. Okay, well, that's a good sign. And they want to make peace with you. They want to, with this Sagittarius energy, they want to show you, like, I'm here to balance you out. Do what you want, boo. They want to make you laugh and somebody's angry about this. So there could be two energies here. There could be someone that you released, okay, and you're going towards somebody else, but you're just very apprehensive about 
taking this person seriously because the ex, the like the last person broke your heart, and but this last person is trying to come in and destroy what you've got going on, and you're allowing your trust issues to project into what could be a beautiful blossoming relationship. Definitely something could be happening within the springtime. Okay, so many different stories here. So please clarify discernment for my Sagittarius's. Please clarify discernment what's coming towards my Sagittarius's in love. We've got independence. Yeah, so like I said, somebody wants to be on their own. Okay, someone wants to be on their own. They don't trust people. They don't trust people. It's like they found something out specifically at night time. Um, and they were like, yeah, I want to be free. Okay. And I feel like someone doesn't want you to be independent. They're trying to trap you, I just heard. They're trying to trap you, especially with this snake here. But it's letting you know like you've got the power to say no to this person. Don't listen to them if you don't feel that it's the right thing. Okay? Also, I feel like your ex doesn't want you to be single. Because they can see that you have the potential to be with other people. You could be very attractive. Everyone's noticing you. Okay? Like flowers represent beauty and admiration so you could be someone who's very independent you're being admired and you you know people want to partner up with you or you could be going out on dates or thinking about going out on dates and somebody wants to offer you a cup of love so i do really feel there's two different energies here there's like one person and two people that are attracted to them one's good one's bad but this person you the sag or someone you're dealing with doesn't want to be with either one of them because you just want to be free Okay, please clarify. Oh, please clarify free spirit. Protection, yeah, because you want to, you want, you're protecting yourself from getting your heart broken. Because this is green Tar Tara, she's always also about healing as well. And um, green, you know, represents love, and the heart chakra is green. And you see how her hand is up, her hand is like, no. So I really do feel like. Um, you're protecting your heart. You don't, you don't, you just, you're just scared. You don't trust the situation. Okay. And it's like this person, because this, this hand is like, no, and this hand is out. Like this person's trying to reach you. And you see, they're trying to reach towards the feathers. The feathers are on the wings. Feathers represent movement, birds angel wings so it's like you're flying away and someone's trying to catch you okay or again take it out resonates this could be somebody else also i just heard somebody wants to protect you boundaries look at the bottom of the deck you you you're just like no please can't fight revelation that was too many cards one card please spirit yeah so I feel like the divine is trying to talk to you. You might be going to the like the divine, your ancestors, spirit guides, Allah, God, Lord, whatever you refer it to. Okay, take it how it resonates. Whatever you see the higher power is. The ancestors of the spirit guides, I keep saying, so that must be whoever's trying to contact you. They're trying to tell you. And you see her hands out like that as well. So I feel like some of, like, and this, she, Pavati, is the goddess of love. I think she's actually um the other half of Kali. Kali's like the darkness and she's like the light. So, um, and on this card, you've got the darkness and the light. So some of you could be very protective because you went through darkness with somebody. And, you know, you want to follow your own light. Look at all that glow that she's got behind her. And there too. You know, you see, look at this goddess. When she wasn't following her intuition, she wasn't using her discernment. Look at all that darkness behind her. Even though everything looks pretty. Because as I just heard, what glitters isn't always golden. Or what always glitters isn't gold. Is that the same? The grass isn't greener on the other side, basically. Or what, what something appears to be is not always as it seems. There we go. So, But I feel like the universe is really trying to, like... This, this could be a blessing. I feel like... I do feel like there's someone here that actually has genuine love and um, admiration for you. Like, the universe is trying to bring you towards somebody. But you're just like, no, because of an ex-person who's still in your energy. I also feel like, as well, this is the universe telling you that you need to be free and you need to be independent and be protective over your heart. Like, some of you, I just heard, might have been giving your body out a lot or... You might have been very promiscuous or you might have just been very much into relationships, okay? And, um... 
the universe is saying it's time to connect with spirit and to go on your spiritual path and evolve as an earth angel i'm hearing so some of you could be earth angels but you have to have the power to let go and give up i just heard celibacy as well creation yeah because you have the power you've got to step into your power you can create the life that you want also i feel like someone is very sexually attracted to you but yes abundance is underneath you have the the power to create the life that you want but i feel like you have to be independent and someone finds you very desirable here someone's definitely in love with you okay or they think you're sexy and you're just going for a transformation right now so yeah i feel like there's two people in your energy i feel like you want to be free you want to be single you want to be independent and somebody wants to be with you and somebody somebody else doesn't want you to be with someone else and you just don't know what the fuck you want to do like you're just like i want to be free like you know what i went i went out with tom and tom was just ugh. and then harry comes along and harry's like you know what babes i want to look after you the universe sent me you're like i don't know about that <laughs> but we'll see but i really do feel like some of you could be focusing on your spiritual path right now you just like, I don't really want to really be going through another soul, soul contract lesson. I'm done, spirit. I'm done. Okay. But we'll see. Please clarify independence for the Sag. Yeah, you want to be. Be you. Be yourself. Be the embodiment of a true Sagittarius. Just free spirit. Like, I'm just here and basking in all my beauty and all my, like, um freedom and this is just how I'm visualizing some of you. Just like, woo, some of you might like to dance and you're just in your house, just like. I also feel like close your windows when you're dancing because someone's watching you, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. Some of you might like to wrap your hair. Curry shells or cowrie shells, however you pronounce it, might be significant to some of you. You might like beads, waist beads. Um, your eyelashes as well are very pretty or your eyes are really pretty. Like some of you have really gorgeous eyes, okay? Also, I feel like someone's just watching you be you. Just be independent and beautiful. I feel like someone as well is very turned on by your mind. Like, they feel like you have a very good judge of character. And they're like, yeah, I want someone like that. I want someone who's smart, who's beautiful, who's, who's, who's free, who's about their shit. And you're like, oh, I don't know about all of that. Please clarify protection. Discernment again 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 yeah because somebody done something to you see that fox right there and you see how the fox is in front of her okay and that i'm sure that's poison ivy is that poison ivy but the the, the the fox is in front of her so it's like there's this there's this energy this is the ex very protective over you okay they don't want you to be a free spirit out here being or independent okay keeping yourself to yourself you're too desirable for that shit. But, I don't know. Using your discernment, you might want to watch the Scorpio reading because this is quite similar. That was all about using your discernment. So, you need to think. Or some of you are, I don't know, some of you might just be, you just have trust issues. You just have trust issues. Because somebody snaked you. And I feel like this past person is just here just watching you blossoming and looking beautiful and they just want to come back i just heard protection work as well if some of you have been doing protection spells it's working keep doing it okay because you're living your life like you're golden living your life like you're golden yep this is you shining beautiful and bright and and you're doing this while you're by yourself so i feel like some of you are really liking being free like you're actually appreciating it you're connecting more with you know things that are in alignment for you and you can see how it's really flourishing someone doesn't like this and somebody loves this okay please clarify Pavati. because you're in your power i told you power of the divine i'm hearing divine feminine divine masculine as well so this is very spiritual. I, I do feel like the divine is trying to send you someone who is your equal counterpart. But I feel like you're at a moment in time where you just want to focus on yourself. But yeah, you're in your full power right now. You see how she's just laughing. She's looking absolutely gorgeous. And she's happy. She's happy connecting with spirit. She's happy keeping herself to herself. 
or him. This could be some of you. Some of you men might be having the, the power. We got power twice. Oh my God, I just realized this. Oh my God. Some of you might really be having the power to resist temptation. You're like, you know what? I actually want to be one of those men that preserve my willy, okay? Because my queen deserves the best. I'm going to use all my sexual frustration and put it into using these big arms as tools and building something, building an empire for my queen. Not the tool, the dick. You know, because what's that building? STIs, STDs, and karmic bond stress and fucking karma. That's what that's building. So some of you might just be, you know, for the men and for the women that's watching this, okay? You're trying to resist temptation, okay? Because you know what's right for you, as it says here, and you have the power to say no or to walk away. Willpower, discernment, use your brain. Should I be doing this, yes or no? Nah? Don't be calling up your angels and your ancestors and asking them to protect you, asking them to guide you, and then you guide yourself right back into square one. Because <laughs> that's how you create a karmic cycle for yourselves. And you'll be living the next seven to 29 years doing the same shit. I'm just trying to help y'all, okay? But yeah, some of you are in your divine power right now. I also feel like someone d just doesn't know how to fuck with you. It's this X energy. This X energy is looking at you, looking brilliant. They don't like it. Okay, but they broke your trust. You had the power to walk away. Now you're in your power. Now this person wants you back. And someone else, I'm telling you, there's definitely someone else here that is in awe of you. Okay, but like it says, don't be so fucking nice. Game changer. You changed the game, bruh. You were like, you know what? I'm not dealing with your shit anymore. And you see pink represents beauty. It's like, it's soft. It's like romantic. We've got pink and red. So this person thought you was all pretty and you was all, oh, oh, oh. And they tried to play with you and you're like, no. And now you've tapped into that said, you're like, do you, do you actually understand what, what a, like, when Sag are, are in, when Sages are in their, um, sexual energy, woof, that's all I'm going to say. So, you know, and that's the thing, they know this, this is why this person doesn't want you to move on, because they feel like they're going, you're going to be flutting around, doing whatever you want to do, when really you're not, really you're actually connecting with spirit, like, you know what's best for you, but this is, this is this person's fear, okay but yeah you stop being nice you just like no and now you're like <laughs> and this person is determined with this scorpionic energy could have been dealing with the scorpio you might want to watch the scorpio reading because it really resonates with this one they're determined to get you back this person is look at how i see her eyes are she's like oh you're trying to be nice are you you're trying to flutter away are you but no this person needs permission because you know what you spoke your truth okay you saw something that was snaky. Also, someone got tempted here. And now they want to come and heal. Listen, I'm so tired of these, like... Ugh. We'll keep going, guys. <laughs> What's coming towards... Sages in love? I just saw 2244. Two, four. That might be significant to some of you. What's coming towards Sagittarius in love? Look at this with the five of swords. Could be dealing with Aquarius and an empress. That came underneath. I'm not going to take that. But somebody could have got someone pregnant. Just saying. This could be you or you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but yeah, I feel like we'll put that back. Okay. We'll put the, yeah, rejection. Okay. So, oof. Um, this is someone trying to one-up somebody. This is drama. This is spite. This is bitterness. This is somebody, I really feel like I'm getting a heavy energy of people trying to outsmart people and underestimating their power. This person was playing mind games with you, okay? I also feel like, like I told you there was an X energy here. I also feel like this person is trying to plot on your independence. And it's saying, use your discernment. Now, this person is studying you. They're watching you because they're trying to see how they can fucking come back and outsmart you in your... in outsmart you right seduce you with this snake as i said in the beginning okay and try and gain your trust but you know better that's why you're over here laughing like <laughs> you know you think you can outsmart me you know if i was with a snake i flipping know how to sliver okay just saying you teach people how to behave just like you when you're with them let me just tell you that this is why this is why people always get caught when they do things. You know, if you if you if you're if you're with a snake, they're teaching you how to sliver. 
period. If you're with a sneak, if you're with a thief, they're going to teach you how to steal. It doesn't mean you're going to steal. It just means that you are gaining the knowledge and the wisdom on how to deal, how to play someone back at their own game without even playing. <laughs> What's coming towards? Yep, because you're taking the world by storm, okay? The cycle is over. You want to be free. See how she's free? She's floating. And all these energies are around her trying to get to her. And she's just like, no. This also represents success. Cycles completing and going on a new success, new success cycle. New cycle. Some of you might become in the limelight, okay? You might be getting noticed. But again, with this scorpionic energy. And you see how you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Scorpio, um, a Taurus, or a Leo, this person is looking across at, at the Scorpio. He's looking at, how can I resurrect this situation? But you see, you're protected. You're divinely protected. These people can't get to you. And I feel like there's people down here that, you see, because this one's almost touching her. Like someone, this is the person who's in love with you. Because Leos represent like a brave heart. Leos really love loving and they're loyal. So somebody is, is here and they want to love you. Okay, which is what I was saying before with this partnership and this Ace of Cups here. And then you've got this person that's here trying to fucking work out how they can come back in your life and play some games. Go away, bruh. Look, I'm free. I'm abundant. I'm single. I'm raising up to the divine. Like, gosh. Also, someone thinks you're very, very sexy. Like, they really love your bosoms. Okay, they love your hair as well. Some of you might have curly hair or big hair. But they like that they they miss playing with your hair. I just heard, and someone else who's attracted to you, they're attracted to everything about you. The color purple is also very significant to you. Some of you might have purple sheets. Okay, or purple scarf. I just heard. Um, what's coming towards Sagittarius? Yeah, we've got because you know what, you're the Queen of Pentacles. You're focusing on that shmoney. You're in your divine power. I'm telling you, fortune, wealth, I'm hearing. I'm, the, the, the universe is going to bless you, okay? Because you fought off this dark and this light energy and you remain balanced, which is what not a lot of people can do. Not a lot of people have willpower and discernment. Like not, not a lot of people have the power to walk away. You had the power to walk away. You trusted in the divine, okay? And now the divine is blessing you. She's focused on her coin, Okay? And this is why this person wants you back. And this is why other people are finding you very desirable because you're very independent. You can take care of yourself. Independent bish right here. Independent bish right here. Also, the queen is actually married. So definitely someone definitely wants to marry you. And this person that is coming to you is going to be the right one, okay? Oh, look. And here's the ex coming to want to come towards you to leave all the past behind. But with this here, I don't trust this because why is the mind games here? What's going on there? What's going on there? They see you celebrate being celebrated, enjoying yourself, out with your friends, your girls, whatnot. And you know, now they wanna fight for this, you could have this person blocked. Yeah, they're making the decision to come towards the world. And who's the world? You, the world. They see you being recognized and celebrated by everyone. And now they wanna come towards you. Now they wanna make the right decision. Now they're gonna communicate with you. But you might cut this person off. You might be like, what do you want? Like, you had your chance. <laughs> okay. What's coming towards my Sages? Please clarify this Five of Swords. Yeah. Tail in between their legs. Here comes the ex that I sensed in the beginning. They're bitter about your independence. The way this man is looking at this, this girl, how I've got it laid out on the table. He's just looking like, he thought he won a battle, but he lost the war. Like, you won at some point, at least. You know what, as they say, let them lose with who they think they're winning with. Because you're winning all by yourself. This is why this free spirit energy is here. You're going full Sag energy. And they're all now wounded, okay, egos deflated, wanting to come back with you. But they're coming back for the wrong reasons. Could be dealing with another fire sign. Please clarify the world. Yeah, because they've been observing you. They've been observing you. And now they're looking at things from a different perspective. But they've been, what I told you, this person was watching you. Watching and plotting. But you also too have been watching them. And you've too seen yourself, um, seen things from a different perspective. And you're like, no, 
okay? No, do you know why? Because look at this, they broke your heart. Third party situation, it could have been. As I said in the, in the beginning, that someone could have broke someone's heart here. Please clarify the Queen of Pentacles. The Page of Swords wanted to come out, so they're definitely spying on you. Oh, now this person wants to boss up, okay? I also feel like this person wants to take control because the Emperor can represent um someone being controlling and quite stubborn. But I also feel like the universe is blessing with you. You see how he's holding the divine symbol, the Ankh? The universe wants to bless you with someone who's actually going to take care of you and hold on to you and treat you how you deserve to be treated. And it's not this person. But it could be for some of you. For some of you, this person might want to come back and say, you know, you can trust me. I'm going to actually be serious with you. I've made peace. But, you know, it keeps saying use your discernment. Justice at the bottom of the deck could have been dealing with the Libra. Could have been dealing with an Aries as well, Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. Justice has been served. You're going to get your just rewards. You're going to get the partner who's deserving of you. It's not this fool. Because they're not coming for the right reasons, okay? They're going through karma right now. Yeah, death. I'm not saying that anyone's going to die, but look at this. This person, this man is looking at death right here because this is the, Scorp um, this is the Scorpio singles. Um, single, I just heard single. So death, somebody's now single. So they weren't single before. They were playing you, just saying. But this, he's looking at the phoenix, which is the scorpionic symbol, right? So justice has happened. This person has gone through a complete transformation, but I feel like... You know, look at this man here. He just, the woman's standing up and the man's just trampled on. So I feel like you survived whatever it is you needed to survive and you've gained wisdom with all that white hair and that man's just like, ugh. You've transformed yourself. That's your justice. You're going to get your just rewards, okay? Karma is here for these fools and you're moving forward to your divine counterpart who's balanced, the yin and the yang, both negative and feminine energy, both negative and positive energy, both feminine and masculine energy. You're moving on, okay? And this is you. You see how in the other, where is it? That man there is looking, but you see how he's behind her. That's your ex with all this passion. Could have been dealing with another fire sign, given his, given himself to third party situations, okay? And this is you focusing on your dreams. Some of you could definitely wrap your hair. And look, you're walking right into the Ace of Wands. New, beautiful opportunities. Okay? Let this person go through their karma, okay? While you go through yours. And have the power to say no and walk away. Don't, don't, get, don't get snaked again. Extra additional messages. Yes, joy. Grace, I mean, I just said joy. Graceful, that's you, and this is your ex in their ego. You see the dark and the light? And at the bottom of the deck, the answer is no. Like I said in the beginning, have the power to say no. And I said joy, did I not say joy? And what do we have here? Joy, go forward to your own happiness. Because you're going to be sent your divine counterpart. If you like this reading, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, okay? If you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. Thank you so much, guys. Toodles.